Good morning, world. I am Judy, your web-based therapist, making therapy accessible and convenient for our clients in Florida and New York, and of course, sharing information worldwide. Today, I wanted to talk about five tips for helping others adjust to these post-pandemic norm as the world starts to reopen, businesses reopen, workplaces are going to reopen, um, but not everyone is going to be as ready to just jump in. So I wanted to talk about five things that we can do to help each other as we all adjust to these post-pandemic times. First, respect people's space. After coming from this um, what chaos that we just came from, where many people were at home alone. So if you're if someone has gotten used to being at home working by themselves in the quiet, they may need you to be a little bit more considerate. Maybe not barge into an office, but knock first. Maybe not just reaching into people's um on people's desks and just grabbing things. So now you may need to ask. So be a little bit more respectful of people's space. Maybe someone who used to be a hugger may no longer be a hugger. Or someone who always wanted or needed their personal space may need a little bit more space. Pay attention to the person's behavior because that's usually a good indication of what they need or what their expectations are or what they um, where they want to, re how they want to interact with other people. So pay attention to any cues that they're giving you. And if they ask for something, if they ask for the space, if they tell you exactly, hey, this is what I need, be respectful of that because we're all adjusting to these new normal, uh, these new normal uh, ways of doing things. So be respectful of the person's face. If you're not, if you're walking into someone's office, knock because they they are used to they are used to the past two three months of working at home where they were quietly working at home. So they may not want someone just barging in. Don't just reach and grab something off somebody's desk. Ask first. Just do whatever you can to be respectful. Two, don't push or expect others to be where you are. We all have different timelines. We all have different ways of coping, different ways of adjusting. So just because you are way ahead, you just jumped in does not mean that everyone else is going to be doing that. And sometimes you may be a little bit further behind than everyone else. So if you're further behind, understand that just because you're taking it slow does not mean that everyone else wants to take it slow. Some other people, other people may just be ready to jump in. And we all have to understand that there are different ways of doing things and be respectful of that. Don't expect others to be where you are and definitely do not push or try to pressure people to be where you are, whether it is, whether you're way ahead or way behind from in the adjustment curve. So three, share resources. As we adjust to these new times, there will be things that people will need. There will be new resources that you're going to find. Maybe you find an, maybe you'll find something that helps make work more productive. Maybe there's a thing, something you find that helps people keep their office, um, office um, space clean, maybe something for children. It, as you're finding resources, which a lot of resources are going to be coming up in the uh, coming months, share resources because, hey, that's what they're there for. They're there for, to help us, all of us, adjust to these new times, adjust and cope and make, thrive in these new times. So if you're finding things, anything that you find, make sure you're sharing it, friends, family, at work, wherever it is that it, it is appropriate. Share resources that you find that can help others for Help create or uh, new or adjusted norms. Things are different now. Society is different. Workplaces, families, homes are different. And it's going in order to for us to get back to that stable piece of comfortable um, time. We're going to need to create new norms, norms that fit into the new times that we're dealing with. So help create new norms because that help people. That will, that's a great way of helping people adjust, get comfortable in you know, jump in or be in this present moment. So as much as possible, help others create new or adjusted norms to fit in these new times. And finally, be a little bit, a little bit gentler, a little bit kinder, and a lot more patient. As we all adjust, you're going to need to pack your patience everywhere you go, including home, because people are adjusting differently. People are, need their time. People need their space to adjust. So make sure that you are being patient and allowing people to work through this process in their own time. Be kinder, be gentler, take a little bit more time. If someone, if you're at the store and someone ahead of you is sanitizing everything or using gloves, then just be patient, be kinder, just let them go through the pro their process and pack a, pack a lot more patience everywhere you go quick recap. One, respect people's face because things are different and people will be different and people will have different needs. So respect their space, look to them for cues, 
or direct request of what they need. Two, don't push or expect others to be where you are because we all have a different time frame and a different in different ways of adjusting. So be where you are and respect where they are. Three, share resources because there will be a lot of new resources that are available. So make sure that if you find something, share it with others because if it helps you, it will probably help them. Four, help create new and adjusted norms because these are new times, but we always need norms help us be stable and comfortable. So help create new norms, whether at work or at home or wherever. And finally, be gentler, be kinder, and be a lot more patient because people will need that as we all continue to adjust to these new times. It's important that we are nicer, kinder, gentler with each other because we need it. And of course, that you pack your patience wherever you go because you probably most likely will need it. As always, if you or someone you know happens to be going through something that's more than you can handle, please remember that even in these times of many things being closed, things slowly reopening. There are professionals like myself who are providing remote services who are available, able, and willing to help with whatever you may have going on. So please figure out who those people are in your community so that if you need them, you can reach out and get the help that you need. And that is all we have for today. Good morning, world. Have an awesome day.